right guys we are back for day two of our 12 days christmas games and today we're going to play some bed or boundary games so what do i mean by that well a lot of you will already have played some of these games so you've already built up a, a value for your dog staying on their bed and today I'm just going to show you how you can progress this to reward them while you're doing something. Now, I'm going to be making their Christmas um, Kongs um, so that they have something that they can have on Christmas Day. And I'm going to be popping them into the freezer. But I'm just going to be rewarding Nell every so often for staying on her bed when I'm doing something distracting because I'm going to have chicken feed, I'm going to have some high value food and I'll be preparing the Kongs. So every so often what I would do just to reinforce her making good choices is go over and feed her and just drop a couple of bits of food and say nothing about it. If you've got a dog that's just learning boundaries and they find it a little bit more challenging then for sure think about using a licky mat now this is quite a small little one and i've had that popped in the freezer you can get ones that are more like bowls and you can even stick them onto a door or something for them to lick so if there was a wall close by and again licky mats different styles and um, but again you could have something like that and let your dog be licking that or chewing on a long lasting chew or having a frozen Kong and every so often go over and reward them for that good choice of just staying on their bed when you're doing something distracting. So what am I going to do that's distracting? Well I'm going to start and make it so I need to get some food in this. So let me get the tap turned on, do a little noisy because I need warm water. I'm going to get my wet food in the minute it's just a dry mix and I am going to add a couple of cupfuls of water and then we'll be mixing this up. So again now knows what this is and she can smell this because once you add the water to it it starts smelling and it's, it's quite it actually smells quite tasty so sometimes you just have to work it a little bit to get the right consistency and I might just have to add a little bit more dry into it let's work away at this I'll add a little bit of that thicken it up a bit and as you can see Nell is doing fabulously there just hanging out on her bed so that's enough for me for now. I'm not going to talk over the next bit of it because we're going to do it on to fast forward and just let you see what I do while I'm filling these up. So there's no point you going to sit and watch me do this for 10 minutes. So we're going to just go into fast forward and then I'll get back to you at the end of the video. Okay, guys. So guys, there we're back. Um, that's about seven minutes in total from when we started the video. Um, you fast forwarded through a little bit. I now have my Kongs and they are ready to go into the freezer. Um, as you can see, I just have little pots, which means I can just pop them in the shelf and they stand up. So as you saw, I think I went back and rewarded Nell once or twice. Honestly, I probably didn't need to do it because she's so good at the boundaries in the kitchen, but I wanted to show you um, how you could do it. And again, remember, if your dog's just starting out, you might have to do it more often. So you're not gonna be expecting them to be as good as Nell. You're not gonna think, wow, they should hang there for five minutes when I'm making food and me not be paying attention to them. You might have to be going back a little more often, but it's just an example to show you how boundaries can be really useful. So this is me making their combs for Christmas, but again, it could be making me, me making Christmas dinner or it could be me decorating the Christmas tree and Nell hanging out in the boundary. It could be Nell hanging out in the boundary when somebody comes to our house. And um, boundaries are, and beds are so useful for so many things. 
and we really need to sort of think about how we can incorporate them more into our our dog's lives. I mean, you could actually, if you really wanted to, condition them so that when they hear the doorbell ring, they run to their bed. Now, how cool would that be? It's all possible, guys. You just have to think about what you want um, your dog to do. So instead of saying, oh, my dog jumps up on somebody when they come in, think about what you do want them to do. Oh, I want my dog to go to its bed or its crate or another room. And then we can start putting together the solutions. So let me pop these in the freezer. And you can just see how amazing Miss Nell is doing there. I mean, I'm hanging out with her favourite cogs, which have chicken feet in them as a special Christmas treat. So that is a big distraction for her. And she is just hanging there, knowing she's probably the centre of attention. Um, and being super good. So I'm going to tidy up here. I dropped a few bits of kibble when I was putting it into the cog, so I'll give her those. She's just gonna hang out there for a bit more. So that was day two of games. Again, it was bed games, boundary games, and it's just about showing you how useful they are. We're gonna be doing more in the bed games throughout the next few days. Um, we might even look at it when I'm decorating the Christmas tree because we have one coming this week, especially for you guys. So you can see us and introduce it to the dogs and what we do and we'll be using our beds for that. I love the raised bed because it gives them a real clear area for where they should be staying, but a mat on the ground, their bed on the ground, whatever it is, you can use any of those things. You don't have to go out and buy a raised bed just because that's what I'm using. So I hope you find this useful. I hope it gave you a couple of ideas of how you can start and use their bed as a great way to keep them somewhere safe and out of your way and not getting into mischief while you're working and also as a side effect is that not a really cool way to start building up a stay and it's completely different from the usual boring ways you have to do it she just hangs out i get to do my work and every so often i reward her it's a win-win for everyone so guys Go have some fun, let me know how you get on and I'll see you back tomorrow for day three. Bye!